Good morning. Today is my last day sitting and enjoying my tailgate because I'm a bush tech and today the whole tub of the vehicle is coming off. I'd spent over two years with Bush Tech's incredible canopy and drawer system setup, and I can confidently say that it stood up to even the most rigorous experiences. And the vehicle as a whole has been my home away from home. This next step though was going to require all hands on deck, especially with new designs accommodating me and all of my crazy ideas and only a couple of weeks to get it all done. The team at Bush Tech really had a challenge on their hands, but there is no one I would trust more to get this done than these guys. With the laser cut and powder coated parts starting to arrive, the assembly could begin and this project could officially kick off. I'm not sure I knew what I was getting myself into, but I knew it was going to be worth it all in the end. I always love watching all the little pieces come together. The X-Series tray is the perfect example of this. It's a mixture of different alloys and components to give the best balance between strength while keeping the weight down. The trundle drawer and built-in 75 litre water tank are prepared so the real fun can begin. It's now time to get the old tub off. That means stripping everything like the tail lights, the rear bumper, the diesel filler and all of my 12 volt cables for my air compressor and Red Arc DC to DC system. It's crazy to think that the whole tub is only held on with 6 bolts. Last time my vehicle was stripped down to this point we were doing the second color change. I won't lie, it's mildly traumatic for me to be back at this point with this vehicle. But we've made some good progress today. Our next step is to actually go and put the tray on and that is going to be awesome. From that point we can start building it up with the canopy, putting in the drawer systems and getting this thing ready for our trip in just a couple of weeks. So we better get moving. So, for interest's sake, we are going to actually weigh the old tub. But what I'm interested to see with the tub is also, this has got rubberizing on it. And people don't realize how heavy rubberizing is. So, it's going to be quite interesting to see the weight difference. Obviously, the tray and canopy is going to end up being heavier. Because it's just far more surface area, there's far more functionality. There's more drawers and things like that there and cupboards and all sorts of storage with it. So it's, and it can hold a lot more. So, but it's going to be interesting just to see what the differences really are. That's about 155 kilos there. So that plus a canopy, which is about 75 kilos, you in it around that 200 plus kilo range already, just with a normal tub and canopy. So when we start looking at adding on the tray, and subtracting all of that weight and we look at the weight difference it really gets very very close but you've got a lot more functionality out of your storage systems and everything on it now the fun part really begins the new tray can be mounted to the chassis using the same mounting points as the original tub We pre-installed the water level sensors for the water tank which will integrate with my Red Arc Red Vision system. The rest of the tray gets put together and assembled on the vehicle. And from this point on it's awesome to just see it transform from a skeleton into a whole bed. Next up are the side storage boxes. And not only do these give you a handy sealed spot to store extra equipment, these also hold the new LED tail lights. These boxes are a major part of the look and design of the tray too, and will later hold the mud guards and mud flaps of the vehicle. 
It takes a lot of clever design to try and keep the weight of the tray system down as much as possible while still keeping it looking really good and being practical. And I think Bushtech really have found that balance here. You can see how much more accessibility you get just on the tray itself with plenty of access to storage without even having to open a canopy door. And that is the tray all done now. So we've got the basis for our whole transformation sorted out. We've got the cupboards on, we've got the fender flares on, we've got the whole tray itself, the integrated water tank underneath there. We've got the whole trundle drawer and everything now as well, which is, I mean, it's awesome. This is gonna be a fantastic platform to kind of build up on. There we go, canopy is on. This is a huge amount of space in here. It's actually crazy. The canopy is dramatically wider than you know the normal canopy. We've got much more height. So the whole red arc system is gonna go on the wall here. The fridge is gonna be there. We've got drawer system coming here. We've got a lot, a lot of work to do. Gotta finish up wiring of the lights. <sighs> But this is going to be so cool. This is an incredible platform to be able to kind of play around with and grow into for the next couple of years, you know. Um, I think that's going to be really fun, you know, shift for me personally with my videos and the way I'm camping and all that stuff. This setup is going to give me some opportunities to try some new stuff and to play around. So I'm really excited for that and to show you guys something different as well. We're going to just bolt down the canopy. We've got the cupboards back on once the canopy is bolted on. We can put the drawers in. We can start really seeing the setup come to life and then we can start with the nitty gritty work. We have got a big exciting day ahead of us. Today I'm going to start looking at the whole 12 volt system in here. Everything is dried and cured on the canopy now, which is awesome. And um, we're going to be putting in the drawer system. So we're going to really get to see how everything is going to fit in the back here now. I've got a mock fit, the Red Vision, the Manager 30, um, the battery, the inverter. We've got the little oven here. We've got the fridge is going to get a mock fit today. For now, I'm going to start kind of positioning stuff and seeing how everything is going to fit. We've got some laser cut boards that should be getting picked up today that we're going to mount the Red Vision and the Manager 30 and all of that stuff too. So we're going to get to see that before it goes off for powder coating. I'm looking forward to seeing this whole project kind of begin to come to life now. The next couple of days we really started to check things off of our to-do list. I gave Darren the honor of cutting and drilling all of the massive holes in my canopy because that is just so nerve-wracking for me but it had to be done. We also got to put in the new drawer system, size up the new fridge and have all of the 12 volt cables run for the Red Arc system. It looks like an absolute nightmare and well, I'm just calling it organized chaos for now. But don't worry, I have everything under control. Yesterday afternoon, what's very cool, is our new tools arrived. So Worth have actually come on board as a product partner for the next bit of the series and they've sent us two 93 piece toolboxes and we got a cordless impact driver and we got a bunch of other little knickknacks here and there. So we are gonna be digging in and using quite a bit of these from now on, which is very exciting. My tools have always been a mixed match of random things that I could put together. 
but this is gonna be really nice to have a dedicated kit for the 4x4 that I can use whenever we go out. So it's pretty comprehensive. Um, we'll have a quick little look through it, but we gotta get started on the project today. So let's get going. It's coming along nicely. The stuff that is yet to be done is really just needs to get powder coated and kind of get finished up. But we just need to make sure all the holes in the right places, all the rib nuts and stuff are in, and that everything is kind of sorted on that front. But we've been grafting really hard, Darren, myself, Theo, we've been putting in the hours this week, trying to get this all done and dusted. But we are now closing in quickly. Once all the last powder coated parts arrive and we can install that stuff, then we can look at actually doing the final red arc install and get all of that stuff wired up and everything. I've run all the cables, we've pretty much cut everything, we've pretty much made sure everything is working. We've got running a 12 volt and an AC plug into the back here where we're going to have a secondary fridge. So a lot has been going on. We've got all of our new tiny tools from Worth which is oh, fantastic. I've been playing around with those very much so enjoying that. We got to do the mud flap still and then on Wednesday we're going to go and put the bumpers on at Onka. So that's the rear bumper and the front bumper. Get that all sorted out and then we are ready to rock and roll pretty much from then. I'm hoping that today we can get the load bars and the rooftop tent and the awning on and kind of get this truck looking like an overlanding rig again. But yeah, it's Saturday putting in the hours and we are less than two weeks away from leaving for Botswana. <laughs> Look who decided to come and visit me. Yeah, How's working it? my ass off <laughs> with no assistance from Rulf at all. Busy it's with, looking good though. Yeah, no, it's looking awesome. I'm loving it. How's this? This tray of nice, eh? Hey, it works. It is properly nice. The proportions are perfect. Yeah, it's actually very nice. Do you know what this feels like? What? A hybrid between a Hilux and a Land Cruiser. Yeah, it's quite nice. You've got this height that the cruiser has, the app, the door aperture, yeah. but the roof is not there on my car. Yeah. My car, I can't get into the roof. Yeah. No, well, yeah, it's... if you have a net or anything, you can actually you can access, access it. it. Yeah. Well, check here. Yeah, in here, we got a, this. It's all oh, done like now. Air compressor, hydraulic, mm. jack, torque eh? wrench, all the stuff, the toys. Toys for the boys. It's mm. looking a lot further than what I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been literally three people flat out for a week. I'm stressing on on your part oh i've still got a lot to do but look once once everything goes in i've done all the wiring is prepped mm. literally put on plug the red play. vision put in the manager 30 yeah. and plug everything in connect it to the battery and we're going so yeah check so check out lacquer this i don't know if you've seen this table yeah that that, uh... that is so nice so check yeah when this all opens this one can open all the way i mean that also, is there's proper. your toolkit. So check here, standing underneath the ow. Standing underneath the awning and everything. Got your kitchen stuff here. Fridge is gonna be over here. Little ovens there. I, that's unfair. I want this. <laughs> I really want to I don't know how, but it yeah. I don't know how, but this is this is really awesome. But like really awesome. Yeah, no, this is we didn't have this on that cruise in the Baviance. No. And this is a, amazing. Hey? No, I'm so chuffed. Okay, lacquer. Lacquer with the toolbox there. Is and you got strong enough? And you got, oh yes, 80 kilos. And we'll, uh, oh. aga daga. <laughs> this is uh, basically the roofest tool there is. Yes. Good batteries. Have you used it yet? No, it, I haven't charged it. <laughs> <laughs> It's massive, bro. Jeez. But I've got to service the car this week and do a bunch of stuff, so I think it's going to get some use. Yeah. It's, it's it is huge. It's huge. Oh, they gave you a second battery. Yeah, that's what I said. That's nice. Eh? Wow. That's, that's a pretty cool kit. Hey! 
What a beauty. Christmas came early. I left to go have a quick little break, arrived back at the truck, and all the powder coated parts have arrived. Now that is some impressive turnaround time. Got all our boxes for the whole Red Vision setup and everything, so I have got a bit of work to do. There are few things more satisfying than opening up freshly powder coated parts, and this point right here marked a milestone in the project. Soon this whole system would be connected and we would be pretty much done. So we are hopefully back at Bush Tech for the last time. We got the last little changes to make to the canopy yesterday. I went through to Onker. We have a bumper back on the car. Yes. So we've got new antenna tabs welded on here and I've positioned one all the way on the side here so that I don't have an antenna in the way when I'm filming. Kyron is busy putting the final little touches on our red arc box that we made. So we've just got a little nice little red plate that's going to go behind the Bush Tech logo there. We've got a few final little tweaks to make to that whole setup and then we can start kind of closing everything up, put the sliding table bracket back in, put the fridge in, secure that and then it is just time to basically pack the vehicle and have a test camp out this weekend. This little Worth toolbox, I think this is a 93 piece toolbox, has been invaluable for this build. I've used pretty much everything in here, obviously not all the different socket sets. This is a favorite of mine that I didn't think I would like so much. It's a screwdriver with the little square bit on the end so I can put a socket on there. Now you've got this little bit box in here, so I put this little adapter on and then I can use the bit box to put all sorts of different things or I can just put like a 10 on and what's been nice with that is when working on like the Redox system here or, the, or the, the different box here for the inverter and the battery, to have a nice length like that, put on your 10 socket, use it and then on the back you can plug in a little ratchet on here. So I've got the dinky ratchet there, plug that in on the back and then you've got yourself a nice like ratchet extension um, for working on little fine fiddly things. So that's been super, super cool to use. Hopefully we don't need to use it too much when we're on our trip, but it's nice to know that I've got a good solid toolbox like this from, you know, for when we, something does go awry or we need to make an adjustment on the canopy or the roof racks or anything like that. So there we go. We are pretty much done and ready for our next trip. The build has been pretty intense. Um, you know, we've had a lot of work to do. It's the first kind of proper touring setup that Bush Tech have done on the Hilux. So a lot more of the trays that they've done have been more commercial. So it's been, you know, the first draw system put in the Hilux. This is our first ever battery box we've put in. Seeing where everything goes, seeing how everything is secured. It's a lot. But that's why we're doing this, you know, is to get the bit of that, you know, that R&D going, just to start using it, trying it, kitting it out to the max setting a bar for the setup and seeing how we work around that. Obviously, we're gonna have a lot to learn while we're on our trip. Chances are everything's gonna change in here. Um, but I've been really surprised by, uh, not really surprised, I, we knew we were gonna get more space, but I didn't realize how much more space. This whole drawer on this side, I've just filled with stuff at the moment that I don't even know, like, it's empty. This whole drawer is pretty much empty. I've got one bright tray in here. That's the rest is all just stuff I've put in to take up space. Um, so we'll see how everything is going to still go. Um, but we've got our inverter in now. We've got so we've got AC power. We've got plenty of DC power. We're running cables to run the fridge in the back. We've got a fridge in the canopy. We've got our oven. We've got tables. We've got uh, it's awesome. It's epic. It's truly, truly epic. I mean, we come around the back here and I've got the trundle drawer. This thing is loaded. It is loaded. We got our Worth toolkit. We've got Worth little bits. 
we've got easy on three-in-one chair we've got cables galore for solar for ac charging i've got a, terrain, a whole terrain tema service kit in there plus spare spare radiator hose kit i've got a breaker bar in here for having to loosen the tires we've got duct tape and a ground sheet brake lines all sorts of stuff that you know you might need and like over the top <laughs> but we have the space you know that's what's cool about it we actually have the space so when we're not using it as a, you know a toolbox it is a big table with food grade stainless steel so we can prepare food on here i foresee the weber going on here and this being the weber spot we've got a charging plug at the back here so we can charge up with the manager 30 um, on from ac power we've got our little tap for a gravity feed i've installed a 6.8 liter per minute um, water pump at the back here you know we've got a rear access ladder now for the tent so we've bolted that on here so we can actually climb up now under the awning of that and because we're using the dragonfly it's not a 270 degree awning so it doesn't come all the way around the back of the vehicle so it means we can hop in there even if our awning is set up we've got both doors are open so we don't have to worry about the doors when climbing up into the rooftop tent and we've now got the spare wheel mounted on the rear instead of inside the cab which then opens us up to move the 72 liter national luna into the back here so now we've got access to drinks and stuff when we are driving so there's a big shift i've taken out a lot of stuff here now we've got the recovery kit in here we've got our our amazing first aid kit from wild medics fully comprehensive everything for level three and uh, wilderness first responder kind of uh, medical kit so that's really really nice and yeah we're still figuring out what's going to happen in here with all the other extra space in the back but so far i'm super super impressed let me go around the other side of the tray and i'll walk you through the um, kitchen side so on this side here we've got our whole kitchen and everything so it's still busy learning <laughs> you know what it all is and where everything needs to go um, but we've got our little big bertha here so we've got a little 12 volt dc oven twin element runs 20 amps can get up to 180 have a, has a two hour timer works really really nicely but for me the the star of the kitchen side is this little unit right here so we've got now this beautiful drawer all packed out we've got the table it's fixed there's no moving stuff off the table to access the drawer you just pull it all out we've changed all of our pots and pans to the new smart space cookware excellent quality really compact well thought out stuff there's three pots in this little bag here all kind of breaking down into you know all these different little kits solid thick walled very good i'm very excited about this also we've saved a hell of a lot of space in terms of cookware i no longer need to take my big poiki pot I don't need to take my non-stick pots and pans. These are Teflon coated and made for this type of lifestyle. So they don't rattle around and they're really good quality. So I'm very, very, very keen to try that all out. We've got a little jet boil in here. Um, so just for perspective on the smart space stuff, this was one of my old cooking things that's now replaced by this and this replaces bear in mind my big poiki pot so in terms of space saving it's huge um, so that's really nice and the quality is far better than what i've been using so that gives me now more room in here for dry foods and stuff like that so i've still got to figure out where everything lives how it lives all of that but that's going to happen we'll probably once we're on our trip packing it now is one thing but within the first week of being on our trip everything is probably going to find a new home so i must say very very happy with that for now we're running what's new is the stand-up fridge i've heard a lot of negative feedback about stand-up fridges and i just thought look i want to test it for myself and see what it's like um, this is the flex cf65 i bought this one myself and we've been trying it out a little bit yeah we'll see we'll see <laughs> luckily we've got this the national luna 72 liter in the back that's our tried true and tested um, i know that's our deep freeze for our meat 
that's important stuff in there. Um, this is going to be more for salads, vegetables, um, you know, if it's fine, if it's got some, some beers or some cool drinks or water in there. It, the little, I must say, what does work really well is this little freezer compartment um, works very, very well. It looks very simple, but it's actually made ice in there. So the compressor can definitely work. It's just whether or not the insulation of this thing is good enough to keep up with the ambient temperatures. It gets quite hot, even though we've got the insulation, it still gets to around 30, 35 degrees in the back of the canopy. And that might be what's putting a bit of strain on this guy, but we'll see how it all goes. In this little box here, we got our water pumps and everything. So that's really nice, hoses, pressurized water. I can just go onto the Red Vision app, switch on the water pump, and I can get the water. So it's all nice. We've got food grade pipes. I've got a ball valve over here that I can shut off and that I can isolate the pump system from an external water source and I can pump water from uh, a bucket or a bottle and use that for a shower or to clean the car or whatever. I could put that in a, a river or whatever I want to and kind of pump it through. Obviously you don't want to contaminate your water pump but you know all within reason. We have still managed to fit the sliding table bracket here with the fridge bracket which is I, I don't know an insane feat. Um, so it is like just just fits but it'll be nice to have a, another table. So as you can see, that slides out there. And we've got still a full size push deck table, which we can use however we please. Simply just slide back in, finds its home, and there we go. At the moment, even in the load bay there, we've got a uh, three by three meter canvas ground tent. We've got three camping chairs uh, and a stretcher. We've got the Weber. We've got a bunch of stuff. So it's uh, it's going to be quite something, I must say. The uh, the Red Vision system is for me the heart and soul of this whole you know electrical system at the back here. That we've got our fridge running so nicely. We've got the little oven. Everything is connected through there. The water pump, um, all the lights water tank sensors, uh, temperature sensors, everything. So it's a really, really well put together setup and I think it's gonna be amazing on our next trip. So all that's left to do now is get the last few little things all buttoned up and packed away and we are then off to Botswana. So the next time we see you, we will be catching you probably in Nata in Botswana and you can join us for our amazing adventure into the Okavango Delta. So we'll catch you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. We have a really awesome adventure ahead of us. So if you haven't already, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video so YouTube knows you want to see more Rome overlanding. Anyways, I will see you on the next adventure. Cheers for now.